First at 11, new tributes for the FBI special agents ambushed this week in Sunrise and several new details about their killer's past. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'm Lauren Pastrana. As two families continue coping with their unimaginable grief, plans are now in place for two memorial services. Tonight, the FBI announced it'll pay tribute to agents Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin this weekend at Hard Rock Stadium. The services are by invitation only. CBS 4's Keith Jones is live in Sunrise with more on how those heroes are being remembered tonight. Keith. Yeah, those services, the plans are very much in motion tonight. Uh, some scarce. We'll get to that here in just a second. But there's very much a, a crime scene here. Even three days later, Sunrise Police on scene here guarding the uh, front entrance to this uh, apartment complex where David Huber live. And, and inside, there is a large FBI investigation unit still there as well as some FBI units. As for the victims, yes, there are plans now to remember our fallen heroes. On the House floor in Washington, D.C., Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz asked for a moment of silence for FBI agents Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin. I ask the House to please pause for a moment of silence in memory and honor of these heroes who gave their lives protecting our children. From D.C. all the way to Sunrise, Florida, the call to remember our two heroes was heard with a deafening silence. The Florida Panthers honored Schwarzenberger and Alfin before their game. The tributes will continue in the days to come. The Miami Dolphins offered up Hard Rock Stadium as a place of ceremony. Agent Laura Schwarzenberger will be memorialized this Saturday at 2 p.m. Agent Daniel Alfin will be honored at Hard Rock on Sunday. A GoFundMe page was set up for the Schwarzenberger family. Initially, a goal of $40,000. Donations, though, as of Thursday, totaled more than $80,000. And a mealtime fundraiser for the Alfin family raised nearly $30,000. Meanwhile, the investigation continues at the Sunrise apartment where both agents were killed, three others injured, while serving a warrant on a child porn case. The scene, still wrapped in yellow police tape, David Lee Huber was a suspect of that investigation. I was shocked, not because it was him, though. That definitely was not my shock. Shocked that it was that neighborhood. We spoke by phone with a former neighbor, April Evans, who recalls Huber as a bit of a loner. He wouldn't really speak to anyone when we attempted to speak to him. He didn't really speak. He was turn his head, walk faster, he may mumble under his breath if he did say anything back to you, kind of rumble at you and, and keep on going. Huber opened fire with a high-powered rifle shooting through the door when agents arrived. The FBI says a doorbell camera alerted him that agents were there. They were there serving a federal warrant which tracked child pornography to a computer at Huber's address. Evans remembers accusations that Huber pulled a gun on a pest control man. He said to me, you know, the guy in the apartment downstairs, when I walked in, he had a gun pointed in my face. The FBI has released little information on Huber. We do know that he took his own life after a two-hour standoff. I was told tonight that Laura Schwarzenberger will have a funeral mass on Saturday and then she'll be taken to Hard Rock Stadium for that memorial service at 2 p.m. As for Daniel Alfin, we still don't have any funeral plans for him yet. Live in Sunrise, Keith Jones, CBS News.